panjang sudah rambut saya nih So before I start the video, I would like to give out a special thanks to my friends that commented on my photo and I also want to share something Okay, so one of my friends suggested to put Messi in this list Messi Messi, badminton player Messi And another friend said, I'm not gonna share their names but another friend said Tiger Woods, Maria Sarapova, Will Smith Justin Ganai Justin Ganai What's up everybody, it's Noah and welcome back to my channel So today as promised, we're gonna talk about the top 10 badminton greats So one of the reasons I made this video is because I don't see much of badminton going around on YouTube compared to sports like basketball, football, or like the Americans like to call it soccer. So don't be angry if your favorite player is not on the list or ranked the way you want it to be. But for any suggestions in the future video or what you want to see, please put a comment down below. So in this video, I'm not going to talk about players like Rudy Hartono, Morton Frost, Tony Gunawan or even the Silic Brothers but today I'm gonna talk about badminton players that I grew up watching when I was growing up so in the number 10 spot Sun Wan Ho one of the best singles player from Korea that I know he had 294 career wins Became the world number one May of 2017. Other reasons why he's in this spot is because he made it hard for Chen Long or even Victor Axelsen to beat him. At that time, he was almost unstoppable. Oh. I can't believe he played that one back to the net. That is cool play by Song Wan Ho. And the crowd absolutely goes mad. On the number 9 spot, Victor Axelsson. He's a very young player, very tall and aggressive on the court. One of the tallest Denmark players to ever play the game. When I saw Chen Long on the court, I thought he was tall. But man, Victor Axelsson, 194 centimeters tall. But being that tall has its disadvantages. He also talked about his injuries on his YouTube channel. Recently, in 2020, he won the All England title, which is one of his biggest accomplishments so far. Service over. March points 14. Cho Chen, Chen has not been able to put him under pressure. That's gone long. Yeah. And the 21 year wait is over. So now the title is back in Denmark after 21 years when Peter Gate won the title. Coming in at the number 8 spot, Chao Tian Chen. In my opinion, he's one of the most underrated players in badminton today. He became one of the first players in 17 years to win the men's singles in his country. So in 2016, Chinese Taipei Open, he was the first. Man, that was a good year for him. Other than that, from 2012 till 2014, he's the record holder for back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back consecutive Pittsburgh Open Grand Prix title in Germany. 
the reigning men's singles champion at the Yonex German Open is Chinese Taipei's Chou Tian Chen. In the number seven spot, Anthony Ginting, the giant slayer. His fans, including me, like him because of his hard work, sportsmanship, his respect to his opponents, coaching staff, and also the people he works with. People say he's short, but what they don't see is his shuttle movement. Not all players have that kind of shuttle movement. It was named by his fans in Indonesia. He was named because of defeating opponents like Chen Long, Lin Dan, Victor Axelsen, Chao Tian Chen, and the current world number one Kento Momota during the 2018 China Open. In the number six spot, Kento Momota. Currently the world number one to this date. He's a rising star in the badminton world in my opinion. Today he has major titles under his belt like the All England, back-to-back -back medals in the World Championship in 2018 and 19, and multiple BWF titles. People say he's the future of badminton and yes, I agree. Recently, he won the Malaysian Masters against Victor Axelsen. Last year, and he starts 2020 with another title here. Both players, great respect for the Prime Minister's wife. After just winning his Malaysian Masters, Momota was involved in a car accident on the way back to the airport. But luckily, he only suffered minor injuries a broken nose as well as an injury to his lip and face. He's currently in a better state and also he made a press conference mentioning he will be back on the court and ready by the 2020 Olympics. In the number 5 spot, Chen Long. On his resume, he has multiple BWF wins. He's won the Asian Championship, Sudirman Cup and Thomas Cup for his country, All England Champion, in 2013 and 2015, two gold world championship and a bronze and gold medal for the 2012 London and 2016 Brazil Olympics. So one of the reasons I put Chen Long in my top five list is because when he was starting his career in China, he had to go against big superstars like Wang Zhengming, Bao Chunlai, Chen Jin, and of course, Lin Dan. So Chen Long had to bring his A game to stand out over all these other superstars. And amazingly, he did very, very well. Oh, it's wide. <laughs> Chen Long. In the number four spot is none other than one of the biggest Denmark badminton superstars out there, Peter Gate. He made his mark in badminton history when he won all England Open Championships in 1999. He also has five European Championship crowns in the men's single event. His total win is 517 wins. Yes, 517. 517 wins. Gila ka. He is known not only for his titles, but his trick shot. Kalau orang cakap di sini, trick beliau dia bilang. So he is most famous for his forehand cross net, also known as the Peter Gate cross net. He has one of the most Fancy, most ridiculous, and most amazing trick shots in badminton tournament. And also, he's the only one who dares to do those trick shots. No other players has done trick shot like he does in badminton tournament. Probably got another two or three years of physical development. What a player he's going to be then. But just sometimes there's a little bit of a... In the number three spot is Taufik Hidayat, also known as the backhand king. If you search on YouTube, everybody go in YouTube and they will type Taufik Hidayat's backhand, Taufik Hidayat's backhand, how to do Taufik Hidayat's backhand. His backhand smash is almost as good as his forehand smash. 
Most players will have a comfortable time when you put a backhand shot to your opponent. But if it was Taufik Hidayat, kau pikir-pikirlah dua kali. At the age of 17, he won his first Brunei Open. How many 17-year-olds can do that? Time saya 17, saya masih lagi main game. He won many, 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 many titles and his biggest title is the 2004 Athens Olympic which he brought back the gold for his country. But one of the only upset of his career was not able to win the All England title which he mentioned in a 2000 post-game interview. This was one of the saddest moments for him in badminton but overall he's done an amazing job in his career. It's very sad and then the, it's the last all England for me because uh, in June so I'm gonna be retired so say bye bye to all England so no more chance for me to get the title in all England because in my life only one title in all England I never get. The number two spot is none other than Lin Dan also goes by the name Super Dan or The Dragon. If you google Super Dan his name will automatically come up. If you check Wikipedia, Super Dan is his nickname. So I started watching badminton seriously when I saw players like Bao Chun Lai, Wong Chun Han, Punsak Punsana, Sony Conchoro, Simon Santoso, and also all the other names that I listed out earlier. If you compare all the names and all the other players at their prime, Lindan will be at the top of all those players. I think a lot of players watched Lindan in his compilation video in 2008 and 2009 where he was just amazing. Super Dan at his best. He also has done it all. The Olympics, the All England, the World Championship, any title you say it, he's done it before. So one of the controversial things that I saw is an article where they compared Darren Liu to Lin Dan. The article said, no game for old men. Are you serious? You comparing Darren Liu to Lin Dan? Of course, no offense to Darren Liu, but the levels between them is so far apart. The article said, no game for old men. But if you see their ages, Lin Dan this year is 36 years old and Darren Liu is 32. That is just four years apart. So Darren Liu beat Lin Dan in the 2019 Korean Open in the first round. But guess who won that competition? No, it wasn't Darren Liu. It was Kento Momota for the gold and Chao Tian Chen for the silver. So no offense to Darren Liu, but I think this article is over exaggerated. And it's, you know, recent years before I quit my career, uh, two guys, especially three guys, Taufik Hidayat, Li Chong Wei and, uh, and a guy, a left-hander from China. <laughs> I don't know if you know him. Um, and I have to say that this, you know, Lin Dan is, is, yeah, is he, I, I will answer the same name to the, those two questions. And that would be Lin Dan. That is the, uh, that is the best opponent I've ever played. Um, I think if I have to pick out, maybe in 2008 in Le Beijing Olympics, when I played him at that time, I think he was at his, his best. Same in, in 2011, uh, World Championships in uh, London. Um, and I think he is the greatest uh, men's singles player that, uh, that our game have, have had. Lin Dan, uh, you have won it all at least twice. What keeps you motivated to continue playing badminton? God told him to do so. So, of course, he's very proud of himself and he would like to continue to play and let the audience know, even at the end of his career, he would like to perform the best for his audience and his fans. Thank you very much. Yes, at the number one spot, it's none other than Lee Chong Wei, the Super Series King, the People's Champion. When I was writing down and preparing this video, it was obvious that Lee Chong Wei was going to be my number one pick. The reason he is number one in this list is because he has one of the most strongest fundamentals in the game of badminton. 
he has almost everything what a badminton player would want. At one point in time, everybody wanted the same shoes, the same shirt, the same racket, just like him. So this is a picture from the Badminton Association of Malaysia and it says it all. You can see it and you know whatever he's done before. So, unfortunately, he didn't uh, get the World Championships uh, or a gold for the uh, 19 years in, uh, But one of the yeah. most memorable and, uh, moments in his career is this, when uh, he beat uh, his rival Lin Dan during the 2016 Olympics. To me, that was the most biggest accomplishment in his career, to beat his rival in the Olympics. He's got it! Oh, 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 no wonder the tears of joy are there. 25 times before, has succumbed at last to a magnificent, magnificent battle. Look at this. Have you ever seen this before on a badminton court? Okay guys, so that's my top 10 list for badminton greats, singles edition. Maybe if you want to see doubles players, comment down below. Okay, apapapun, give me a like, share, subscribe if you like this video. If you didn't like this video, let me know and what I should improve on my next video. The most important thing is stay at home, stay safe, don't go out. Okay, stay home, cook rice. Bye-bye.